Let's take it over to Mike Patton, head trader at Thunder Trading. Mike, I have to say, based on social media comments, you are quickly building up a fan base on our show. Thanks so much for being here. What's your trade of the day? Thanks, Angie, and thanks, everyone. So my trade of the day will be PayPal, uh, which had earnings released um, uh, last week. And basically, at the end of last week, and PayPal basically was a big surprise. The symbol, by the way, is PYPL. Uh, everyone knows the company, of course. So PayPal, they were expected to uh, earn 94 cents uh, per share. They actually beat that spent by a good margin at $1.24 a share. That's actually the second time in a row that they've had a strong earnings beat. And basically, uh, they're expecting some continued revenue growth. Historically, we've seen very solid growth and revenue for the company over the years, and it's still happening. So I do think this company looks like a pretty solid buy between the $75 to $85 range, which is roughly where it's at now. Um, a lot of estimates see the potential for this company in the next year to be anywhere from $108 or higher. But of course, the downside risk is there too. So I would say if the stock is trading under $65 to $68 in the near term, probably that means that the picture has changed somewhat for whatever reason. So at that stage, I would look to get out. What are your thoughts about the market, Mike? Well, nothing really has changed since last time. Um, I still believe that we've seen the general bottoming of the market starting in the end of 2022 and going into very early 2023. But I do also think that the upside potential will still be limited as there's still a lot of unknowns that we have to deal with as far as 2023 is concerned. So I do think that it would be unwise to expect that the current rally is going to last for very long. Uh, but I do think we've formed a larger range that the market should be able to stay in for a while. And then if some news comes out later on that makes it look more positive, then of course, we'll be looking for some more upside potential. But I would definitely look for any stocks in the tech sector that have been beaten down in 2022. Most of those are presenting great opportunities for buys right now. Thank you for your trader talk. Have a great trading week ahead. Absolutely. Have a good one. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.